All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Bad. In today's video, we're back with XCOM Chimera Squad. Um, I don't know what. I, I don't think I want to get any of these. I do kind of need a frag grenade because I don't have that many grenades in general. But the I know I don't want the impact frame, and I'm I'm not sure about the plated vest because there's other armor mods that I can get. Like I have the uh. The region weave for example which i think would be more powerful than the uh extra padding actually wait that's extra padding let's see that this is a plated vest this plated vest provides additional armor protection from the hostile attack grants plus this one armor there extra padding grants plus on hp oh okay so maybe that is better to get well this only grants extra armor which is essentially one piece of health that you can't get back And versus the the region weave, which is going to give you two health back at the start of your turn anyways. I don't know which one is going to be more powerful. This one prevents you from taking as much damage, but once it's gone, it's gone. The other one's going to help you heal from whatever damage you take. So I think I'm going to stick with that. The impact frame would be useful if I were to use subdue more, which I don't. I usually just shoot until they die because I was used to using trank rounds, which would give me that. Um, which would get me the, the intel, like the captures that I would need. I think I'm gonna buy this though, and I'm gonna use Axiom. Like, give this to Axiom and let him use that since he is running around anyways. And if he can use Smash on somebody, he can also use Subdue, and that's gonna increase the damage that uh, Subdue would do. All right, so this is a critical mission now. Everything else is cleared on the board. It's we're doing pretty good for unrest considering where we were. I think in the last at the start of the last episode, so two episodes ago. Blue Blood is almost done with all of his training, and then I think I'll put either Shelter or Zephyr back in. We have something researching mastercrafted pistols. Okay. Uh, we located the sacred core cathedral, their base of operations. They aren't hiding anymore, which means their plans are nearly complete. Take them down before they cause any more harm to city 31. They're the ones who brought in the watcher thing or whatever. Do I have everything that I want? Patrick can carry grenades. So I should buy her one. Damages units and applies a poison to units. Do that just because it works good together with um Torque and Torque is on this mission. Could have just pushed back, didn't mean to do it all that way. Alright. Now we're ready to go. Almost everybody has everything fully equipped for now. I think some people do get the ability to carry more than just two, like patchwork where she can get three utility items. And other stuff like the that. Coil isn't trying to hide. They think it's too late for us to stop them. Let's prove them wrong. Whoa, there's a massive power source ahead of you. See if you can track it down. All right. As you move through this entrance, automatically activates Overwatch after the breach. Uh, units automatically activate Overwatch during this breach. So everybody will go on Overwatch here. So I guess I'll probably send everyone through here. He's fine leading. What does he have? He has the med patch. So he's fine leading at this point. She can use her scan. Let me bring Claymore and Torque. Follow me. Yeah, I remember this room. Uh, uh let's start doing damage to the mech. I think someone else is also gonna have a hundred percent chance to hit. He's teleporting around again. I forgot he's been glitching out lately. Someone else is gonna have a hundred percent chance that I don't want to risk the ninety-nine either. Maybe I looked at those numbers wrong. I still haven't edited that video. I had a feeling that someone else is going to have a 100% chance to hit this commando. So I was going to focus on the mech first because I know the mech can deal more damage. There. Finally finished that scene. Uh, I don't know if the Andromeda can be poisoned. I assume not since it's in its shell. Oh, no, man. You look like Shrek running around the field when he's glitching out. Check your zone. Does this have a cooldown? A three turn cooldown. So ready for this. I don't know why I used this. I really just saw that I could. So I wanted to. Number two dude is way up top. I need to cover right here. This will be a good position to hit every everything else too, but I'm gonna go for this guy up here. 
uh axiom increases their rage higher rage blah, blah, effects but also increases the risk of everything rage is also gained when taking damage i don't know if this is going to end my turn or not want some? nope okay cool so i can just activate rage anytime i want to pretty much i'm not going to be able to take them out with one shot but i can't take the number four out I can't take anything else out that I hit pretty much. I'm gonna go for the number four though. That wasn't really a kill, so I don't know why he banged on his chest. Can he dodge all of the shots that he's gonna take with lightning reflex? No, he can't. Cool. That I think that happened last time too. We got people in Overwatch and then the Ronins would just run through the zone and kill themselves. I tend to use this ability really quickly. But it's because it has such a long range. I don't really need to though. Seventy-four percent chance. That's a good. All right. I should clean my glasses. She just stick to using chain angel. That's Watch what she this. should do. So we can't just drop this acid grenade on them. Grenade out. I think he still can't take the acid burn effect because it does affect robots like eating away at the metal i guess is how it's portraying that that's not really what i wanted to say there. this is gonna go off before the number four dude's turn Sorry so i can at explosive. least put it here and then i stick him with the sticky grenade he's gonna try and fall back usually they fall back towards their teammates so if he runs towards the andromeda he's gonna run himself into range of that explosive that's just if he runs that way which he didn't or she, I guess. Miss? Cool. That's a miss. And Torque. Um, try and use Tongue Pull on them. You have 100% chance. There's no try. Also, I could use Torque, and instead of knocking them out, I could just. I'm not knocking them out. Instead of doing them, I could use Bind instead. Don't Oops, didn't mean to use bind right there. Instead of using yeah. bind, I could just knock them out, is what I was gonna say. So now you have a clear shot here. I meant to use subdue that instead of using bind, is what I was trying to get at. And there's no point in using subdue because you're gonna come right back. Jolting the target. If the turns were slightly different, this would have worked out better. It's funny how this thing is still pumping, even though it doesn't have to. Also, why they have robotic suits that control themselves. It was there's a creature constantly living inside the suit that's never outside of it. Then it doesn't make sense for it to be autonomous unless it's like when they're in the sanctuary because i don't think it's ever shown them it's like an atmosphere a building that's an atmosphere of what they breathe in that case then yeah i guess it's a little different it's like having a self uh parking car or self pull-up car oh, yeah can you get an angle up here Yes, you can. All right. I was talking away from the mic. Hopefully, it wasn't doing too much for the sound quality. As far as I could tell, it wasn't. Damn, I kind of want to put him right where Torque is standing. Traversing. It's going to go off. I'm going to try and lead a shot, kind of, and drop it right here. Throwing shrapnel. I'll blow it up if we're ready. Oh, okay. I'm confused. That's Miss. funny. No collateral damage. It'd be funny if he bounced off the door and went back in. Is I going to give him his no turn right now? Yep. Next See, that's the shrug it off already coming into effect. You should turn the favor. I don't think he got in a good position from Axiom either. All right. Claymore. Let me zoom the camera out and give it at an angle. Yeah, that looks better. Can I shoot at them? 
I can't really hit them, but I could move here and try and shoot the number three dude. It's gonna go off. This will go off before number five, so I can put the bomb right there on him. That's if I can't get a tongue pull with the sword, because otherwise I would just I will just be tongue pulling him and binding him until he dies. Take this step out to here. That's gonna end my turn. 67 isn't too bad. But it wasn't good enough. I did though, so I guess whatever. Alright, you can use tongue pull. 97% chance. All right, now you can use bind. And then you'll just hold them in place. Covering the distance. What are they going for? I'm confused. Cause they just left themselves no completely exposed to, to Axiom. Uh, reload. Weapon full. And then you can't. I don't know why it shot over there. The weapon for yet? You can't see her, him, her, him. Can't remember. Anyways, you can't see them. I use well, no, because I'm rooted anyways. I guess I'll Overwatch like this when they come back up the steps. Not unless they go all the way down. That's the only way. Nothing beyond our reach. It's gonna miss either way, right? Yeah. Moving where we're needed. Let's take that away. Disarming shot. Yeah, see? That's he's gonna miss, yeah, lightning reflexes. You cannot keep me down. You're still up. I think torque is gonna be pretty stop on the torque. It's like torque and axiom. Anyways, this might be a good time for this because this is disorientate both of them and then I can deal with the ones that were already here before I have to get to these ones. Need a fresh clip. At least with them dealing damage. Ammunition topped off. For a shot on, yeah, the number six one. Uh, would she have region weave? I don't know why she's healing. You need to sustain the bind or release and use subdue. I'm going to sustain it actually because subdue won't kill them. It only did four Alpha damage. No and Axiom. Yeah, he still has a uh, pretty good aim from his position. Uh, yeah, height advantage. Otherwise, we wouldn't have any good chance for taking these shots. It probably would have been better if I got Patrick up there, though. Her gun has a uh, better range for that type of shooting. I know in the older XCOM games, you could have a sniper, too, I believe. And if we were to get snipers, that definitely would have been cool, too. And we're at 22? Did I do a mission before this one? I can't even remember. It did take me a while to start this one though. I should have put him on the other side. No, that's fine. That's fine. He's a melee character, so it's probably gonna go for uh, Torque again. Your weapon is faulty. Nope, they're going for Claymore. Still doesn't matter though, because even if I had cover, I don't think it would have protected me from this. You use tongue pull on them. The ninety-seven percent chance. Get over here. And then we can just bind them. And it's gonna end the uh, go uh, encounter sleep. immediately. Because there's nothing else they can do. Once you're bound, you really can't do anything with that character. Gunfight in the sacred coil cathedral. Sounds like an old movie. What's it like in there? Repurpose starship paneling, some mood lighting. 
Hmm. I kind of expected something more majestic. Interesting. Hold on, that power source doubled its output. Whatever they're up to, it's in the next room. Yeah, this dude is terrible at it. Oh fuck, we should have brought Zephyr. Now we have Axiom. Alright. This a door? Yeah, Axiom can lead through here. I wanna save her her last scan for the last room. Get to be at the second breach point to use this. That's fine. Because we can use hers at any point. So in the next encounter, as long as I remember, I'll have terminal terminal torque drop the healing and then have Patrick use that scan. I take you out because we don't need anybody in here getting shields. I think it's a range thing too, and they're all grouped up, so we'd have got everybody for sure. Tragedy, that man. Shouldn't have been so important. Should not have been so important. Let's go for an Andromeda. It's gonna be an issue later, anyways. Gotta land this shot. Alright, cool. Damn, he already stepping off for the shot. Oh, yeah, that dude. That's the Ballas Mar, right? Yeah, Ballas Mar. The elders answer our prayers. The gatekeeper? What's wrong with it? No! Your presence defiles it! Yeah, I guess it thinks that it, uh, they're traitors. Interesting. XM can dash up to here, like to this point. Can you get over to this one? Because this one's going to be harder to get. To. No, you have to do them in order. Okay, we'll have him use running gun, right? Coming for you. Get him right here and go ahead and act push this first button. I'll have him use Adrenal Surge and then keep using Psych up and then hit this Andromeda Wired up. which works out I want to get this Andromeda out the way too that's not even On that the they're edge. that necessarily deadly they just uh just take a lot to kill cool Ooh, we knocked it unconscious too so that takes it all the way out and he went berserk so we finna do some more damage Cool. Well, he's going for his attack. We got to shrug it off. So coming in handy again. Yeah, we did leave him out of the open. He got struck it off again though, so. Next time don't get hit. And can Patrick make it anywhere? No. We're only gonna use gonna have to use team up. Put a gas grenade on you. He'll drop a gas on you. Grenade out. I don't think he heals on his turn like the progeny lady does. Read the way this poison's gonna start chipping away at his health something we can repro is there something else we can reprogram we have a 75 percent chance to get the mech we didn't manage to get it but it would have been nice if we did uh the mech is gonna go right before we get reinforcements too i'm gonna use team up on damn i want to on twerk's turn i'll use team up on that twerk i no on i guess claymore's turn i'll use team up on what well, let me because i can't use team up on him he's probably not gonna make it all the way across i could drop her here out in the open which i'm gonna have to do because i don't want them to get reinforcements i don't know what comes through the portal and also don't want to know what comes through it i hope he goes for not patrick really Been 
great. I'm glad other things are missing these obviously capable shots. Use team up on patchwork now. And she can go and shut this thing off before they get people in here. Are there any other living people in here? The mech. You can use tongue pull. Not anybody that's worth it though. Oh yeah, this height advantage is really working out here too. Alright. Take them out. I think we're only left for robotics and the dude, right? Yeah. Damn, this is gonna put her in a terrible position. Cool. We did need to take that out though. And he's just sitting in this poison too, taking damage, which is also good. The mech didn't go for patchwork, at least that's not what oh, the bombs. Took a hit. I can manage. Rose, you're bleeding. If that one didn't go for one of those two, didn't make Fine. sense. It didn't hit bone. It's all right. You can manage. He's gonna have to manage is really the issue. You can drop a grenade here. Throwing grenade. I was going to put an acid burn effect on them. We can put a shrapnel bomb down. Here at least. Shrapnel if they move up out. towards this mech, then the shrapnel Bomb's bomb is going to get them. Go for the sticky grenade here. Nope. Shit, it almost moved towards... uh. Patchwork too. You know what? That didn't work out at all. Then. Hey, you're surrounded right now. Let's start by healing yourself. Will you smash on? Who's up next? Number two is up next, but number two is gonna explode when they die. We're eighty-seven. 87, 87, I have an 87% chance to hit this. So I might as well try it. Oh, that thing that damage showed up before you even took it too, which is weird. That one had armor shredded. I think that's going to damage it this mech too, right? Yeah, it damaged everything in there. Uh, I can drop poison spit on herself to heal. Either way, one of these two needs to go. What else is left? I use her to take the purifier out. Cause her gun has a longer range, right? Good work. Give me a turn. She has a nano make it also. I'm gonna move her to right. To right here. Going to move. Another biped showing off. Here, wow. He healed herself. Stop the burning and then use chaining jolt on the number two, which is the one who will probably shoot at her too. I don't know if this ballast mar dude is gonna survive his turn uh after the poison right, takes effect. Uh that thing broke as the acid burn, so that worked out too. Shrug it off is really coming handy. Shrug it off. You will make it. He literally shrugged it off. Thanks, Claymore. All this stuff, like I'm pointing with my hands again, I'm gesturing Target towards the killed. top right and the bottom left, and all that is showing up before the actual animation shows up. Really throws off. I guess not the. There's something very off about that gatekeeper. If this is part of Sacred Coil's plan, we have to stop that thing. The immersion of the game, because it is a strategy game, but it's still just weird. She's already at full health, so I'm fine with her sneaking in. Enemies are deal one minus damage here. And successful shots on enemies during the breach will stun. We also send her in over there. I said I was gonna have. Shit, she has the the heal healing thing, doesn't she? No, she has the hollow scanner. What's her health thing? Claymore? Is it Axiom? It is Axiom. Then Claymore can lead. 
Axiom will heal. She's gonna scan. Entering. Move in now. Cause she can heal herself with her poison, so she doesn't need to be there for it. And this gives us a tactical advantage of being more spread out. And then also we have her different angle on things too. Plus not being grouped up for uh, AOE attacks. Okay. First goal is anything that's aggressive. Start off with the guardian as always though. Can't tell if that guardian was taken out or not. It wasn't. But Axiom's gun does more damage than one. As long as he hits the shot. Yeah, alright. Now you can use your shot to get that. The Guardian. And I'm just assuming that uh Twerk was gonna Whoa, this is not where I thought she was coming in at. I definitely shouldn't assume this. But either way, we did get we killed three of the four, so that's fine. We're only gonna kill three out of four anyways at that point. I've kind of negated a reasoning for her poison spit unless she has terrible aim on everything because her weapons are going to just poison anyways. Oh, hell. That gatekeeper had a use for sacred coil. Just not the one they expected. Now, another thing that I've been uh, looking at too is... There's an auto highlight feature in the recording software that I use. It's called Filmora. I've been looking at those, right? Uh, I'm editing the earlier videos right now at this point in the real timeline and not these videos, right? Um, sounds terrible, but the I think it's I think it's based on audio and volume of stuff, which is going to be mostly my voice, right? Uh, with my mic messed up, it's. It sounds like uh, someone cut clips out of a VHS taste, tape and then tried to glue it back together. That's how that's going. Ooh, and dead. what are we going to go for? Actually, normal shot. Yeah, just do a normal shot on the commando. So he still didn't do much anyways. Also, that just looked devastating because he shot through, through that side panel. The, uh, Let's take that away of the train and then also killed him that took out the cover for both of them too he almost moved into that range that would have been nice Ooh, you can just use subdue yeah just use subdue on him where are you going that was dumb i thought i did it from over here It looked like it should have missed. But this thing is also ruptured. You need to remember to move first. What can you reprogram? That's hurry. Try the reprogram. Overloading target. A thousand cuts. Cool. And can you see the number three person? So I think she still has cover behind these potato, not potato sacks. They're probably sandbags. But if we can stun a disorient and hit them, that would be nice. Why does it keep jumping back to that? All right, it's stunned. Now this thing can take a shot at whatever, really. Or I can put it in radio overwatch in case something tries to go by it. Something might. I don't know about the angle on it. It's the only thing. Uh, hmm. I can only shoot or do the overwatch. I can't do both. This is number two in the turn order. Oh, he's already stunned. That was a waste. I should just put it in overwatch. Oh, well. Now, can you poison that thing? I would think not, right? What can you tongue pull first? them or I could shoot at that you don't have any grenades use toxic spitting here so it can be poisoned then twerk rears up and swiftly strikes an adjacent target with a devastating bite dealing major damage and applying poison maybe I should try that also 
Couldn't take the purifier out though. We do still have this Andromeda in front of us, which we're probably going to use Axiom and Claymore to take out completely. This thing is still poison. It's going to open up and do one of its AOE like bomb things, I think. Or Gateway? What is this doing? I'm confused. It's going to bring something back to life. Yeah, like a Gateway from Hell or something. these things i gotta watch all their turns too because they move so slow probably fast forward through it i need to reload all right cool I had enough time to do all the shit that I could do in that amount of time. Just check my phone. But still. Axiom needs to be healed also. I think we're probably gonna lose someone in here too. That's this is the place where I usually would lose people. I think this is going to shred off some of its armor. It's also going to open it up to more damage. Drop this right Bang here. Down. Yeah, we almost killed that thing with that grenade. What's left? What my plan is? Can you not shoot? Does he have to reload? I would guess so. To deal two to three damage. No, this is deal four to five. Who am I controlling right now? I don't know. I'm gonna assume it's uh, still Claymore. Cool. Damn, I didn't know that thing was gonna blow up. Uh, Psycho. Ready for action. And and he needs to heal though i can't use team up or anything to get away also thought these zombies were gonna go away after his turn where's the safest spot gonna be because i really just gotta move him to be safe i'll just retreat him all the way to over here we're just gonna leave claymore and patchwork open for these shots but this yeah it didn't connect Okay. I could shock this thing. It is going to deal a bunch of extra damage. Yeah, it's going to hit quite a few of them. And she has no other abilities that she can do that don't just deal damage also. The target. So she just did a nine damage in her turn. Spread out too. And they still talk shit about her. I didn't think we were going to step to fight all these uh, spectral zombies, though. As y'all know, last time, I think I just I killed everything else first and then the spectral zombies. Probably should try and take out the number two one at least. Not having this extra move is really throwing me off. I'm going to go for this shot right here, though. We might lose Claymore and Axiom in this turn, though. Probably should have used her to heal, which I could have done. Miss? Cool. Not even close. She might as well be breakdancing around them. Damn, this mission takes hell. It's all these spectral zombies turns, too. They gotta add, like, five minutes to this mission. Okay. All right, that, that one hurt. managed to hit. No need to complain. That one's probably gonna hit also. I'm a little banged up. You still stand. That's what matters. Not Claymore? Not Claymore? Miss? Low roll? Cool, low roll. Took a hit. I can manage. Alright. 
I could drop this shrapnel bomb on top of her. It's gonna go before her turn. It's not. Yes, confirm. It's a terrible idea. Let's move him to fuck. Can I get him to move not through the poison? I can't see what the range on that thing is now too. Let's move him over here then. Heading over there. Cause I can't get him to the spot that I want him to without it, the game trying to push him through poison. Go for smash over here. Actually, we'll just subdue. Do 100% chance. Yeah, we'll just use subdue here. Don't like the look of that. Yeah, you definitely shouldn't shouldn't stay Move, here. You fool. Damn, a fool. That's that's pointless. Can anyone cover me? And now you can use chaining Joel on this andromeda, right? Prime circuit. With the ruptured and the bonus damage, yeah. She just took out like three things by herself. Basically, we're like next time, shoot. I think they're just jealous of her. I've been sitting here wondering why uh, she got so much health because she's healing two, two, two points every turn. I forgot I set that up for her. It's not your day. Damn, this mission took too long. What about this Dallas Mar guy? Nasty piece of work. Don't think he ever made it to a camp. His clones are just as bad as you'd expect. We've had worse? Ready to hunt? About that. How many more until I work off my sentence? Three. But you'll get a lump sum of the bounty so far. And a place on the team if you're interested. Are you sweet on little old me? Less so when your fangs drip. National Conversation of Korea Collars Employees. Korea's Collars Employees? I don't get that one. I assume that one's embedded in the lore somewhere. I've never heard of Prisma's, uh, Prisma Fang or Collier. Excellent work, Chimera Squad. Sacred Coil got more than they bargained for when they threw open that gate. That gatekeeper must have been sent here five years ago. It was stuck in transit since XCOM won the war. Scattered cells remain throughout the city, but Sacred Coil as an organization is no more. All right, cool. So now we're up to the progeny and we get to see what they have as their third mission. And then I'll get to see myself what happens when Sacred Coil is. Yeah, when Sacred Coil is the last Reclamation one. Reclamation analyzed the intel from your latest investigation. We've noticed a troubling pattern. Sacred Coil received external help in constructing their psionic gate. Atlas is no longer a theory. Now that we've foiled two of their plans, expect an escalation. Did you find a connection to Mayor Nightingale's death? Nothing. Focus your investigation on the remaining group of suspects and watch for any connections to Atlas. Progeny has intensified initiation rights thralls resulting in greater damage endurance the progeny's message is reaching further recruiting more acolytes and even more sorcerers to their cause that's going to be annoying because i think those are the main damage dealers too those are like the heavy hitters of the progeny the progeny have a small but loyal human membership all with psionic capability victims willingly hand over what the progeny need and forget the whole thing the perfect crime thanks for watching uh don't forget to follow all my other socials in the description down below uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. Uh, again, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next time.